Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Susie and I post videos every Wednesday and Saturday at 6 p.m. Today I'm going to give you five tips how to learn a foreign language at home without any teacher for free. I speak four languages, including my mother tongue, which is Hungarian. I also speak English, German and Portuguese. Out of these three foreign languages, Portuguese is the one which I learned all by myself. English and German I learned at school. Tip number one is to use free applications. I use two applications at the moment. One is Duolingo, which I started to use more than three and a half years ago. So I am by 1330 days in a row with Duolingo. Until I met my boyfriend, I had no idea that I will ever speak Portuguese. He was the one who advised me to use Duolingo. I, up until that time, I had no idea what Duolingo is, that it existed, that there are any free applications to learn a language, that you can even learn a language on your own, which you really, really can. So just believe in yourself, practice, and you will get there. I really started from zero. And um, actually what helped me is that within Duolingo, you have sections for grammar and sections for topics. What I did is that whenever I reached to a grammar section, there is an info button to read what the, this part will be about. So it, in my case, I learned Portuguese from English. It also shows you examples from English. So it compares, in my case with Portuguese, I have the description in English, then I have examples in English and in Portuguese as well. With that, it really helps to understand and to relate between the two languages. And the other application which I use is called Drops. Drops is a really good application for learning words. This is very used for vocabulary. You will never find any kind of grammatical sessions within Drops. What I like is, of course, I use from both applications the free version. By Drops, uh, you have minimum five minutes to learn a language with the free version. And if you keep the streak on, then you get bonus seconds and after some time bonus minutes. So minimum five minutes, maximum 10 minutes is what you have as a free learning time within drops for one day. So in my opinion, you have always five or 10 minutes in your day in order to learn a language. You don't have to spend hours and hours sitting in front of the computer and learning new terms, new expressions, new grammatical tenses. No, you just really need to sit down, spend five to 10 minutes a day to have the practice, to have the habit of learning a language. Tip number two is to listen to songs of your target language. You can also find translation of the lyrics online. With that, you can easily learn some words and nice expressions. What really helped me during my whole life learning a language was listening to music. Whenever I found the nice music which I liked, I was searching immediately for the lyrics. And then I, of course, after some time, you memorize the lyrics and then these expressions just built into your mind. And when you have a conversation, there are some nice expressions which you can take from a song which I believe helped me a lot. Tip number three is to watch series and TV shows on your target language with subtitles of a language that you speak. I really like to use Netflix for practicing a language. So in Netflix you can find many series and TV shows which are in original language. For example, I just recently started to watch the series called Dark. This is 100% in German and we watch it with my boyfriend in, with English subtitles. My boyfriend doesn't speak German, so it's easy for him to understand what is going on in the series. And it's also an ease for me to understand some expressions which I didn't hear about before in German, but I can read the translation for it in English. Tip number four is to listen to podcasts. With podcasts, you can hear the right pronunciations and you can also learn some nice expressions. I listen to the podcast called Slow Portuguese on Spotify. I really like that podcast because the podcast creator gives you the text 
what she is going to read out loud and she reads them twice first she reads it on a very slow way so you are able to read and listen to her and really get how some words are really pronounced and by the second part she reads it as she would read it on a normal way so with that you get your ears used to how fast Brazilians can speak. Tip number five is to find a native or a non-native person to practice with. From native speakers you can learn proper pronunciation and slangs. It happened to me many times that I learned an expression from a book or from an application but that expression doesn't really exist in real life or people are not saying it that way or maybe it's just an old school expression maybe your grandparents were using it so it's always good to double check with a native person practicing with a non-native speaker is good if you are still shy to speak the language but you would like to practice it you understand a lot uh, if you are listening or if you are reading something but you are still shy to answer and to start a conversation with someone. I personally always had this with all the languages I speak, that speaking with a native can be a bit scary in some ways, because I always had this feeling that if I make a mistake, they might judge me, they might laugh at me, they might think that, oh, this person is just so bad in this language. You know, you just need to forget it. If you have this feeling, just try to find someone who is non-native speaker but is on a better level than you are on the given language and then just start to practice with them. And then later on, when you feel more confident, try to find someone who is a native speaker and you can have a nice conversation with this person. Okay guys, so that would be all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and see you in the next one. Ciao!